guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing and review of Blue Apron. And if you do, don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. So at first glance, I can tell you that everything is packaged quite tightly and I can see that this is actually sealed. So I know for a fact that they're keeping things a little fresher than some of the other boxes that I've gotten where it's just open. This is all sealed up in here, which is nice. And then upon opening this material, I can see that everything is just sitting all together in here. So it's not separated like some meal kits. So I am gonna have to go through and actually separate everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and check all of the ingredients. It looks like everything is pretty fresh, although everything in here is wet. So I literally just unboxed everything that was on the top part and everything is soaking wet. I don't know why it's so wet. Like I literally had to just wipe everything down as I pulled it out with a paper towel because it was just, everything was dripping like all over the place with water. And I'm not entirely sure why. It's not like I let it sit out all day or anything like that. It's in the morning. It just got delivered. I literally heard it come to the door, went, picked it up and brought it in and immediately started unboxing it. So. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is really weird why it's so wet. Even the produce is like, some of it is soaking wet, which is not ideal. So the things that are in bags, it was just the outside that was wet, so that's okay. But there's like, for example, there's a garlic that is like literally drenched. Like, I don't even know if I can use that garlic. That's uh, not great. <laughs> Even there was like this tin and I already dumped out all the water that was in it. There was a ton of water sitting in here and I've just been like literally wiping it down. You can see how wet this towel is now just from like wiping everything down that came out in here. So anyway, very odd that everything was so wet. You can definitely see that even the cardboard in here is soaking. It's like drenched. Ugh, that is not what you wanna see. Not what I want to see. <laughs> so, okay, here is a big pack of ice and it's completely wet. Does that mean that like there's a hole in the ice? Maybe that's the problem. Okay, here, I'm gonna go put this in the sink. Okay, so now you can see what was on the bottom. I'm just gonna wipe it down. But all the meat was on the bottom with the ice pack and it looks like there's another ice pack underneath it, so that's how they keep everything cold. But I've got all of the different meat that comes with the meals that we're making, so at least I know it's cold. That's the most important thing. I'm gonna have to wipe all this down. Yeah, it's like so wet. <laughs> and, ooh, that looks good. See? Yeah. Okay, so that is everything that is in the box. And now I'm going to wipe everything down once more because it is still so wet. And then I'm gonna organize it by meal. Also on the side of the bag here, this is where they put all of the different meals. And it looks like these are also all kind of wet and stuck together on the bottom, which is weird because they weren't even inside the box. Like you can see they're all stuck together. <laughs> Anyway, so the meals that I got, once I can separate them, <laughs> they're really stuck together. I don't even think I can read some of the, ing the instructions because they're so stuck together. That is so weird. Okay, so these are the four meals that we ordered. I'm so excited to try these because they really sound delicious. This first one, this one's probably gonna be my favorite because I love gnocchi, but uh, it's an oven baked creamy spinach and artichoke gnocchi. That looks delicious. And much like a lot of the other meal kits that I've received, it has all the ingredients listed here. And then let's see on the back, it has a couple of instructions. This is definitely different than the instructions that I've seen on other meal kits. Usually it's a lot more detailed. This one is interesting. Maybe this one's a little more simple because it looks like this is the one that is more pre-made. Is it? I don't know. I can tell that this is part of what goes with that, but I'll have to figure that out. And then this next dish is a lemon caper salmon. That looks delicious. There's all the ingredients there. And then on the other side, okay, yeah, this one's a lot more detailed, 
much more like the other meal kits that I've seen. So yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that first one. I, I guess maybe it's an easier meal. I guess we'll find out, <laughs> I'll let you know. But this sounds pretty good. For the next one, this one is a chicken and blueberry thyme pan sauce. So that sounds delicious. You can tell there's lots of instructions there. So, I mean, it's not like a pre-made thing. Like, I'm definitely still making the meals just like some of the, most of the other meal kits that I've tried. And then, let's see, this one is a beef and wonton noodle stir fry. That sounds pretty good with lots of sauces, as I can tell. So, yeah, again, that's one of the things that is not one of my favorite features so far is that I have to like separate everything, but hopefully it'll be easy to organize. So I'm gonna try to put all the meals and all the ingredients together with these so that it's easier for when it actually becomes time to cook because usually around dinner time, all my kids are like running around like crazy and my husband gets home from work and it's just kind of a wild time. So it's so much easier for me if I can like set everything aside ahead of time and have all of the ingredients ready to go. I can just pull them out and dump everything together, make all the ingredients like all at once and not have to literally like sort through all of these at the time of making the meal to try to figure out what goes with what. So anyway, so I'm gonna do that now. So one thing I do like about all the way that they organized it is that even though all the ingredients are separated and they're not like in a bag together or anything, I do like that they put all the little sauces, they call them knickknacks, and they put all of those little like details and the sauces together in a little knickknacks bag for each of these. And as I noticed here, each one of these has in very small lettering, it was hard to find it for a second, each of the meals that they go with. So that makes it a little bit easier so that I can literally just put all of these different meals with the recipe that it goes with. So now I'm just gonna put them in a separate bag so I can pull them out of the fridge when it's time to make each meal. So it just saves me time. So basically I put everything that goes with this meal right here, put everything that goes with this meal right here, everything with this meal is above it and everything with this meal is right there. So yeah, all in all, all the meals look delicious, uh, even though all the ingredients were soaking wet. Pretty much I think the only thing that was truly damaged was the garlic, so otherwise I think we're good. <laughs> Just very interesting impression, uh, considering that this is, you know, Blue Apron is supposed to usually be one of the more upscale meal kits out there, so it's interesting to see how it arrived. But anyway, so now I have it organized in bags and I can easily pop it out of the fridge anytime that I'm ready to cook one of these meals this week. Because as I said, as a mom of twins and a third one on the way, it just is so worth it to save a little bit of time ahead of time. So it's really easy when it comes to the actual meal cooking time. So I can just pull it out, cook it and be ready to go. I will get to cooking these and I'll let you know what I think. Thanks for listening in on this unboxing and review and I'll share more with you soon. So throughout the week, I made each of the meals and they were really delicious. The two that I liked the most were the gnocchi dish and the salmon dish. I definitely would recommend this to a friend. Overall, I feel like these meal kits are a really good way to save money as well as to learn how to cook new things and even eat healthier.